Hello, people of YouTube. My name is Steve Gray. Please hit that subscribe button if you're new here. Turn on that notification bell so you know when I am making new content. And feel free to comment down below as well. So, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to get wax off of a Emophone Les Paul Gothic guitar. Um, so, a buddy of mine, as I stated in my previous bass video, um, where I showed you getting wax off of it, it's going to be very similar to that. Uh, basically, using a hairdryer or a heat gun. Um, so, nevertheless, let's just get right into it. So, today, as you can see, oh my god. Oh my god, look at this mess. Uh, it's just from the headstock down the neck. Oh yeah, into that control switch, which is going to be fun. All up in the pickups, pick guard, knobs. Oh Jesus. But this, this guy is going to be a nightmare. Um... Basically, what I'm going to do is similar to the base as if you saw that video. I'm going to use the handy dandy heat gun here uh, to heat up the wax and absorb it with a paper towel. So, what I plan on doing on this one because it's a little bit different is I am going to slide the paper towel under the strings if I can get it underneath here, like so crap uh, but I'm gonna slide that paper towel underneath the strings and then I'm going to use the heat gun um, I don't really care about saving the strings I think what I'm going to do first is probably take off the pick guard take off all the knobs um, possibly cut the strings off I think I might just cut all the strings off I might leave one string on just so I know that it's working uh, later um, because I'm gonna need to get both of these pieces off and I'm going to need to unscrew the pickups and see what the damage is inside the cavities and the pickups themselves. Um, I've never wax potted a pickup before, but I do have a candle warmer and some candle wax, and I've been told you can do it with that. Um, so I guess we will just wait and see. So what I'm going to do, as I said, I'm going to pick up this paper towel. Um, I'm going to put on some gloves, which I'm actually going to start with gloves this time. Woo. Um, I'm going to put this paper towel underneath the strings on the fretboard and just heat it and see if it'll just absorb into the paper towel itself. Um, that way I don't have to keep wiping it down and making a candle waxy mess everywhere. So unfortunately, I don't know if you can see it in the light or not, uh, because this is a satin finish, um, it is becoming a pain in the ass to get this wax off properly. Um, I'm probably going to go to the interwebs to see if I can so find something better, but I did pretty much get it all off the fretboard, if you can see in the headstock. Uh, there is a loose tuner up here. I'm probably just going to shove a toothpick in the hole or something, um, or just shove something in the hole so that way the uh, screw in the back of the tuning peg uh, goes down a little bit tighter. But um, I am now confused because this looks like a swirly-dirly waxy mess still. Um, maybe I'll keep using the heat gun and see what happens, um, but I am probably going to have to um, do something different. I did try the pledge on it, and this is what happens after the pledge. So you can see that kind of swirly glossiness. I did pop the pickups out, if you feel like seeing the inside of those. Standard, standard Epiphone pickups. These are called Hot Open. That's what it says. Uh, let me flip the camera around for you guys, see if you can focus there you go there's that one and I did clean out the cavities and everything too this one's facing this way weirdly but just standard Epiphone pots um, I didn't really re-wax the pots or anything like that I just kind of wiped it off um, the back of this is still a little waxy but as I said I am going to go ahead and go to Google and see what I can find uh, parts wise this is the parts unfortunately one of the uh, Knobs I busted a little bit, but that's nothing a little bit of super glue can't fix uh, no issues there If you're doing this type of thing make sure you have a parts bin uh, These are my two bridge pieces also covered in wax pick guard also covered in wax I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with the pick guard because it's plastic um, So I might just rub that down or something because I really don't want to use the heat gun on that I'll be honest these guys I might just boil in a pot or something to get all that crap out of there for just movability and playability so here is the guitar now. 
I don't know if you can see it. Uh, some parts are shiny uh, due to the fact that um, satin finishes, the more you play, the more you're rubbing, the more that particular part's gonna be shiny. But I did actually manage to bring most of it back to its satin finish. And how did I do that? Distilled white vinegar, that's right. Um, I looked up how to get paint off of walls, or sorry, how to get wax off of walls, and I found out that all you need is a little bit of vinegar, and that takes off the residue from everything else. So now what I did, just want to show you here, with the bridge pieces, the pick guard, um, and the knobs, unfortunately I did damage one knob a little bit, but I'll show you how I fixed that in a second. Um, I ran all of these, uh, basically because of moving parts too, I just ran all of them under really, really hot water from my faucet, because I didn't want to use the heat gun, because the heat gun is going to be way too hot, um, and might possibly damage them. Uh, what I'm going to do to fix this guy is because I do actually have the piece. It's actually a pretty simple fix. You just kind of slide that guy back in there. And then look, it looks brand new. And all I'm gonna do is put a dab of super glue in there. Uh, I'm gonna wait for this to dry because it is currently wet still from being in the water. And I am going to go ahead and glue that back together and put it back on. To get the knobs off, um, I'll just put one back on real quick. Uh, basically what I did, because they were on so freaking hard, you take a string like this and basically kinda, you don't wanna yank the crap out of it. There goes a knob, it's okay, I'll pick that up. It's in, a, it's in a usable spot, but basically, you don't wanna super power it because that's how it ends up getting broke, like that guy right there. I'm gonna actually put this back in there before I lose the, fuck, the piece. Um, but you just kinda wanna wiggle it, wiggle, wiggle if it's on there super tight, and um, it'll be good to go. Actually, a few of these are loose, I might tighten these just a little bit. Do Pots, you don't wanna tighten too much because if you do, you're not gonna get any sound. Uh, messes with stuff. Uh, one of the tuners is also loose. Let's see if you can see it up here. This guy is a little wiggly. Uh, so what I'm going to do is actually in the screw hole itself, I'm going to put a dab of super glue and that should be just enough a little extra oomph to completely hold this guy down. It's kind of like acting as a little bit of wood filler, but a little bit more control. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be putting strings on this, so I don't know if I can get a demo for you guys. Um, but I will plug it in and kind of poke at the pickups just to make sure it's still working. I did cut all the strings off because there was just no way I was saving any of those strings. It was just way too much of a mess. But pretty much here is the finished product. All I got to do is just put a few things back together. I didn't end up taking the pickups out of the cavity uh, just because I'm not the best at soldering and I didn't want to deal with that. So I did pretty much just melt it around it. There's not really any residue. There wasn't a whole lot in the pickups. Um, and I don't think it's going to really affect sound much either. Um, just so you know, if you do take the pickups out, see how there's one screw in each of these, make sure to flip when you flip it around uh, to put a screw back in them or they're going to flop out and scratch the crap out of the guitar, which you do not want to happen. So at the moment, I did my old English on the fretboard with this cloth right here. Um, I'm not going to polish this with pledge because there is wax and pledge. Um, I did it with the vinegar. I might just wipe, I pretty much just wiped it down to the paper cloth. The vinegar is not really going to hurt the finish. It's a, it is a little bit acidic. Uh, so I might just dab a tiny, tiny bit of water on a paper towel and just wipe off the vinegar on the guitar. But uh, other than that, we are pretty much all set. So as you can see, Spilling bait wax on a bass or a guitar is a massive pain in the ass. <laughs> um, the bass probably took me an hour. The guitar, I'm going to guess, took me three hours. Um, unfortunately, um, I'm not able to give you guys a demo of it because he doesn't want me to string it up. He doesn't want to pay for me to pay for strings and then him have to pay more, more money uh, to put these strings on it for him. Um, so I'm not going to give you guys a demo, but you can see what the guitar looks like finished. Um, just to kind of sum up everything. So I started with a basically a paper towel underneath the fretboard um, to, try to attempt to save the strings initially. Um, and then I tried heating it up and just seeing if it absorbed in the paper towel. It did not. Uh, so I just cut off all of the strings, got rid of the big chunks of wax. Um, and then basically, as, as you saw already, I just heated it up, heated it up, kept wiping it down, wiping it down. Um, and then I ended up using vinegar because it was a satin finish um, to give it that satin finish back uh, because otherwise 
it would look very glossy, and then I'd have to figure out how to get a buffer or something and buff the entire guitar to make it look shiny, and as opposed to the satin finish. Uh, but thanks for watching, and as always, have a good one.